hello, hello everyone. Hi, how are you all doing? My name is Tiffany Joseph from Jamaican Food Connection and this is We Love Food, your allergy-free cooking show. Today is National Ice Cream Day. Yay! Uh, July 21st, 2019. It's actually National Ice Cream Month, but today is officially National Ice Cream Day. So in celebration, I decided to review two um, dairy-free ice creams that I've never had. Um, I'm going to review them, telling you what I think, and I'm also going to review, I don't have it with me, but I can tell you because I bought it several times. Um, it is the So Delicious brand. Um, coconut ice cream, coconut vanilla ice cream, and then they also have a caramel ice cream. Now those two I know, I have, I enjoy, and um, I've, I've bought at least two or three times. So I really do like that brand, but today I decided to try two different brands. And do keep in mind, I'm not endorsing any of these brands. I'm just trying it to let you all know what I think of it, give you my honest opinion. No one's endorsing me. This is just what I want to do so that if you're dairy free, you can go out and try these brands, okay? All right. Um, by the way, I do make my own ice cream. <laughs> I have, a, I have an ice cream maker. I make my own ice cream. Um, so bear with me one second. I'm going to go ahead and share this out before we get started. Okay, guys? All right. I hope everyone's having a fantastic Sunday. And I'm going to share this out with all my wonderful, wonderful followers. Give me one second. So let's get started. Like I mentioned before, my name is Tiffany from Jamaica Food Connection International, and this is We Love Food, your allergy-free cooking show. I'm here each and every Sunday, um, the first, second, third, and fifth Sundays of every month. I'm not here on four Sundays um, because I do. I'm a part of hospitality at my church, and that's my Sunday to provide breakfast or assist with any food items that are going on. So I'm unable to do the show on four Sundays. Um, but I'm here every other Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, um, to share my allergy-free options with you guys. And so today, because it's National Ice Cream Day, it only seemed appropriate to get ice cream and review it. Um, I've already made ice cream with you all at least two times, but I don't think I've ever done a review. Um, so I just want to review these two brands. There are two, well, one brand I, I really like their dairy products, but you know, because of the way it treats my stomach, I choose not to use it. And that's the Ben and Jerry's brand. They're Cherry Garcia and their banana uh, with the dairy, dairy brands. Um, the dairy ice cream is what I really enjoy, but I haven't eaten them in years because of the way dairy causes my stomach to be upset. So, um, this is uh, made with almond milk, um, but it's a seven layer bar non-dairy frozen ice cream. Um, it has coconut with fudge chunks, walnuts, and swirls of graham cracker and um, caramel. So it's not nut free. It is not um, gluten free. However, it is dairy free, and that's right up my alley. Now, walnuts, I don't particularly, I try not to eat them, especially now because the season is about to change and it just doesn't do my, do my skin right. But I'm going to try this ice cream because I'm doing a review. Um, as you can see, this is the ingredients I was reading off, and then on the back, it tells you everything it has in it. Almonds, walnuts, coconut, wheat, and soy. So, yes. Um, it is a little damp because I was, I haven't opened it yet. I wanted the review to be a genuine one. I wanted you all to see my genuine response. So, I haven't opened it yet. And then the other brand, I've never heard of it, it's called Nada Moo. Never heard of it. So, that's cool, right? And this is cookies and cream. And this is the ice cream. It is certified gluten free. And it's made with coconut milk. 
and I wanted two different milk types. This is coconut milk. The other one is um, almond milk. And this says contains uh, tree nuts. But everything else also says it's gluten free, so which is pretty cool. It's called Nada Moo. So, like I stated, I'm not endorsing these brands, I'm just reviewing them. And then, so we're just gonna get started, guys. So, I have two separate ice cream scoops. I don't want any cross contamination. <laughs> and I'm gonna try the Ben and Jerry's first, two separate bowls. See? Just some regular ice cream. I'm opening them up. Nothing has been touched out of them yet. I'm just gonna do one good scoop. Um, I don't need any more than that because I'm tasting two different ice creams. All right, so I'm gonna tilt the camera so you all can see. Um, as you can see, it's seven layers, like it says. It has a lot of chunky goodness in it. And so I'm gonna try it. It melts like real ice cream. Oh, you all can't see my face. It's true to Ben and Jerry name. It's rich. Can't tell much difference from dairy. Um, to me, it's super sweet, but. What's ice cream without sweetness, right? Unless you're going for sugar free. Um, but it's pretty good. I would eat that. And I taste all seven layers. Um, the only thing I haven't tasted yet is a graham cracker, but the caramel, the coconut with the fudge, the swirl of the graham cracker. I haven't tried, tasted that yet. But it's really good. Hmm. Got a whole piece of walnut. That was a big regular size piece of walnut in this little carton. So not bad. It's true to the Ben and Jerry's name. It's very good. Alright. So I'm going to try not a move pretty cool it's sealed which I like um, Ben and Jerry's wasn't I like sealed ice cream um, it's just that safety thing um, you can tell this is coconut super creamy um, the scoop it looks kind of plain, but you can see it's cookies and cream. I don't know how the cookies are dulled in here. Mm. I taste the vanilla. Cool. With the Ben & Jerry ice cream, the first thing I tasted was a caramel, and it was like super sweet. But with this one, I taste the vanilla. I don't really taste the coconut, but I know it's coconut milk, so. But the cookies are a little soft for me. It tastes more like a brownie. It's not that crunchy cookie all throughout like I like. The ice cream is really creamy. I'm wanting to know what they put in here. And it's not overly sweet. But yeah, this is gluten-free cookies. Tapioca flour, brown rice flour, arrowroot flour. This is really cool. Sour gum flour, xanthan gum. And that vanilla extract is awesome because that's the first thing I tasted. This is really cool. I like this not a move. The ice cream by itself, I would take. But I want the 
the cookies to be a little more crunchy. It has a very fragrant vanilla taste and I really absolutely love that. Hmm. That was great. That was really, really awesome. Um, these two, they were reviewed. Didn't take long, only a few minutes. Um, I chose to open them on camera so you all could see. Um, like I stated, the Nata Moo, really creamy, very smooth ice cream. I can't tell it's not dairy, but I know that it's coconut milk. I prefer for the cookies to be um, a little more crunchy than soft, um, but they're made with gluten-free flour. So I don't know how that plays into it. Uh, I play with gluten-free flour, gluten flour all the time, and they can be crunchy. However, when you're mixing it in with coconut milk, I can see it getting soft, but I'm still looking for that extra crispiness that I'm used to with cookies and cream. As far as the Ben and Jerry's, it lives up to its name. Um, it is creamy, it is rich. Um, it's a little overly sweet for me. Um, but I do love sweet ice cream, and I'm not gonna eat it every day, so I might as well enjoy it. But those are the two things that I really like. They have big chunky, chunky pieces of everything in here. It's very creamy, rich. Just a little too sweet for me, but I'll still eat it. Um, and this is super creamy, really can taste the vanilla, vanilla fragrance is evident. It's not overwhelming, it's just really pleasant and consistent. However, I would prefer for the cookies to be a little crunchier. So, those are my reviews. Today is Natural Ice Cream Day. So, if you're looking for some dairy-free ice cream to go out and try, like I mentioned earlier, I do this. I do um, enjoy the So Delicious brand. I've also tried. Um, I'm gonna stick with So Delicious. The So Delicious brand is really good. Um, their almond as well as their coconut vanilla flavor as well as the caramel one so those two I really enjoy um, and these two brands this is my first time trying the cookies and cream by no not a move not a move <laughs> it's really cool I like that name and um, Ben and Jerry's old time favorite they used to do the, the non dairy I mean, excuse me, the dairy ice cream, and this is my first time trying their dairy-free one, and it was pretty good. Um, just a little too sweet for me. Not a move. Um, I love the, the ice cream. I just want the cookies to be crunchier instead of like a brownie, more like a crunchy cookie, like an Oreo. So that's it, guys. That's it for my review. I hope this was helpful. Happy National Ice Cream Day, and go out and enjoy yourself some ice cream. And if you're like me, you have an ice cream maker. You can make your own ice cream. It only takes a few hours. Um, my recipe is very, very easy. Um, I usually do a can of coconut milk, a can of uh, uh, a can of coconut milk, a container of coconut cream, three eggs, three egg yolks, <laughs> vanilla, a cup of sugar, and I just let it churn and churn and churn. And then if it's churning and it's getting too thick because of the coconut cream, I add another cup um, or another container of can, another can of coconut milk. So it can equal two cans of coconut milk, one can of coconut cream. And um, if you're using coconut cream with sugar, do not add sugar. I made that mistake before. So make sure if they are using coconut cream with sugar, do not add sugar. So two cans of coconut milk, one can of coconut cream, three eggs, three egg yolks, vanilla, and you can add cinnamon or whatever you would like to. Um, yeah, and it's really good. So homemade ice cream is great. I make it all the time. Well, I made it two, maybe three times. Two times on the show for sure. I believe four times total at home. And it's very delicious. But it's nice to go in the store and know they have options for us people that have allergies. So 
Again, my name is Tiffany from Jamaican Food Connection International, and this is We Love Food, your allergy-free cooking show. Today was today is National Ice Cream Day, 7-21-19, and I decided to review some ice cream that are very free. I did the Ben & Jerry's Coconut 7 Layer Bar, and I also did a Natamu um, Cookies and Cream. So those two ice creams are really, really delicious. They had their own positives and takeaways. And I made my recommendation, so go back and review the video on Periscope if you'd like to. Um, thank you so much Dr. Princess Fumi Hancock for allowing me to do this on your channel each and every week. And like I stated earlier, I'm here on the first, second, and third Sundays. Um, and if there's a fifth Sunday, I'm here as well. I do not broadcast on fourth Sunday, so I'll see you guys not next week, but the week after that. So thank you for coming in. Thank you so much for joining. And you all have a blessed and prosperous day. Have a blessed week. Bye for now. See you later, guys.